Disneyland mascara always all over my face. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Isabella and I'm so happy you found me on my YouTube channel. So you probably clicked on this video because you saw it was a thrifting video, but this, if you're, if you're a returning viewer and you know my usual setup in my room, it has changed a little because my photo wall that used to be here, I moved over there and I got rid of like half the photos because I just didn't like having photos from like two years ago. So now I only have recent ones on it and I only have the clip 30 lights instead of the string ones too. I also went to garage sales. I went to a consignment store, which I don't usually go to consignment stores because they're more expensive, but today I did go to one. And then obviously I had to go to Goodwill too. I hope you enjoyed it. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Oh my God. I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Go garage sailing and thrifting. The one we just went to didn't really have that much, but even the stuff they did have, I was like overhearing people asking like, how much is this? And the people were asking for kind of expensive prices for stuff at a garage sale. We took a quick stop at this like park thing because they had a little zip line thing and we wanted to test it out. So my aunt found a an estate sale online and so we're gonna go to it, but the thing is it's in a new neighborhood, which is odd because people never have new uh, estate sales in a brand new house. So we're trying to figure out if for sure there, it's an actual estate sale. The house looked like it was like for sale or something, but that was definitely not it. So we're gonna go try to figure out if we had the wrong address or something. The estate sale does not start until Sunday. <laughs> That's why we were like a little, a little confused. We were gonna go into this little consignment store that I've never been to. So yeah, we're gonna check it out. Right now I'm looking at all the like framed stuff that, cause I need stuff for my walls. They're a little empty right now. This mirror, I love this mirror so much. And it has a matching, like, armoire thing. <gasps> I kept finding stuff and like, cause like, she only gave me $20. So like, you know, I wasn't sure I'd be able to get stuff. And then she just handed me a $100 bill wrapped in like this thing that says, happy 14th birthday, Isabella. Love Uncle Gary and Aunt Mary Jane. She's so sweet. <laughs> $60 and they would not fit my feet. So. I found these pair of Reeboks and they would be my size and they're like brand new. But the thing is, I think my other aunt got me a pair of them for my birthday and I won't find out till tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna buy them because I don't wanna end up buying them and having another pair of Reeboks too. I don't need two pairs, so. I mean, granted, these are different style than what I asked for, but they don't have cars to sell the whole of my crap, so I'm sorry. I don't think I'm really gonna be able to put that much stuff in here. I'm sorry. I really want to because this store is really cute. I'm definitely coming back here. What the heck, Caitlin? Oh, We're gonna go take a quick little lunch break at Bad Daddy's. It's a pretty good burger place. At the restaurant, I basically just got like this burger with bacon and spinach and stuff on it. And I also got like a Snickers milkshake that was so good. Sorry, I didn't like film it or anything. I kind of just like forgot to do that. But now we're gonna go into TJ Maxx because my aunt has to return some things. We got into this little neighborhood and it was getting like super confusing because there are all sorts of different turns and whatever. But then we got to the like a sign at this intersection that said back the other way. And we went back up and there still wasn't there. So we think they just like packed up and didn't take down the signs yet. So, oh, also we're looking for garage sales now. That might be helpful to know while we're just driving around neighborhoods. Now we're gonna go inside of my absolute favorite place, Goodwill. Okay, it's not my favorite place ever, but like I just say it is because of how often they go to Goodwill. I mean, this one, not specifically, but just Goodwills in general. Owie, stop hitting me! Kaylin had 
looked at like the first three shirts and she already got the leggings. Off to the men's jeans for me. And it's pretty busy in here today, which I'm not happy about. I just started looking and I found some viral vibes. And usually I'd be happy about that, but I've just come to the realization that most of my styles do not fit my thighs. So if I get these do, and there's one other style like this, but 505s do not. So I'm not gonna buy those. More 505s. This time their belts are not the same as the last one I came, which is, that, that's a good sign. Random rack time. Until now, it never occurred to me to look at the belts in the men's section. Like, ever. <laughs> so now I'm gonna do that, because I've never, I never even looked at the men's belts before. So I just like forgot that that's their section. I was literally just like walking up the aisle and I saw these like white, such like 70 vibes shoes. I love them so much, they're so cute, but they don't fit my feet. They're one size too small. I found these filas and I size that I think would probably fit my foot, but I'm not even gonna try them on because I already know like they're not in good enough condition for me to want to wear them. So I'm gonna say no to them, but if they're in like a little bit of better condition, I would consider them. I'm gonna quickly look at the skirts just because there's like, just looking at the aisle, there's a few patterns that catch my eye. So I just kind of like look further. Do I really need another pleated plaid skirt? No, I do not. Love the pattern, maxi blank. No, no, no. This is such a pretty pattern. It's like little flowers in this butter yellow color. I just don't love the overall style of it. I absolutely love this strip, but I don't have a house, therefore I don't I don't need a chair. Such a Dorothy style shoe. Oh my god. If I was going for Dorothy's Halloween, I would definitely buy these. Here's an armchair set that I like, but again, I do not need it. I love this trunk, but again, I don't need it. I'm kind of running low on time, so I'm sorry. I can't do the like, put my phone in the cart. Kind of look at the, I can't do the put my phone in the cart kind of thing like I usually do for my videos. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to do it like the ones from a year ago, how it's like, I never put it in the cart and it was only my hand. I know that's not ideal, but like that's our only option, okay? Otherwise, I'm not gonna have time. I like these velvet pants, but they're too big and mm, just not a style I like, so I'm gonna pass. I kind of like these gingham pants. I just don't know if they're like a skinny fit or not. I love this pattern, but it's a kind of a wide leg style and it's like a paper bag top and I'm not in love with that, so probably not gonna buy these. Definitely a kid size, but those are kind of cool. I actually kind of like these but I don't really wear heels, so. I swear I did not put these together, but like that dress with that purse totally matches. And I feel like someone intentionally planted these right next to each other. I love the wash on these, but they are definitely carpenter style shorts. And I'm not a fan of that kind of style. Hello, I literally just got home. <laughs> I'm still a little hot from the toasty car, but I'm gonna film the haul. And when do I ever film the haul immediately? Okay, that's usually because I'm with my dad and I don't like filming stuff at his house because this is this is just my usual filming space. Also, I have not tried anything on and I usually try things on before I film these hauls. So by the time I film the haul, like I'd already written the other stuff that didn't fit. So this item I got at a garage sale, the first one we went to actually, but it just says Alaska and it's embroidered. Also that shirt I bought for 50 cents and that's the second shirt I have that was 50 cents. The other one I got on an arc and it was like a black graphic tee that said Tesla on it and had like lightning. It, not like Tesla, the car brand. This next item is probably the item I'm most excited for. And this did not come from a garage sale. It came from the consignment store, but ah! I love this so, so much. But unfortunately, like paint peeling off and like, that is not something that's like authentic. It was a replica of probably a sign someone saw it once. It's like, hey, let's make a sign that looks just like it. And so, oh yeah, because it's from Open Road Brands. Since I just showed that sign from the consignment store, I guess we'll show the consignment store stuff first. Honestly, I'm probably gonna say this is the item I'm most excited for, like for all these items. We're like, I'm really excited for this, but I am actually really excited for this like pink blazer. 
in person it looks a lot more pink and less coral. I love it. I love the material on the inside because some liners just feel plasticky and like they're just not good. But this one's like actually soft. Like it's actually comfy to wear. I don't want it to be like I'm drowning in it. Like you, I can't even see my fingers, but I don't want it to be tight. So that one gives me the oversized blazer vibe without being like just way too big to the point where it's not practical to wear. I also picked up this green corduroy just like button up and I, I, I really like it because I like corduroy jackets and I mean this isn't quite a, like it's not a shirt but it's not a jacket so I don't know what to call it because it's too thick to be a jack a uh, shirt but too thin to be a jacket so I don't know what to call it but although I really would like to find a burnt orange Sherpa lined Preferably from Levi's jacket. I I think Levi's at least made that one because I think I saw that somewhere. Like, want someone got one from Levi's, but even if it's not from Levi's, it's not very important. But I really want one. It's been on my thrift wish list for a very long time. I should make that a video one day. I should do my my ultimate thrift wish list. I don't know if anyone would want to watch me just sit there and say like all the things for my Pinterest board. Essentially, the next thing I the next thing I got is this like pink almost purpley corduroy pants and I love them they're so